Bro, we're having fun, man. Bro. We're beard googles. <laughs> Hey, don't don't talk over don't talk over the intro. Do it. Oh, don't don't talk. So not talk. Don't talk over the intro. So don't make any noise. Stop it. So are you telling me not to stop talking? Yes. Stop talking. <laughs> Hi everybody. And Ricky Schroeder stuff. Hola. And Chris is slurping. And I am Chris's lips. I make slurpy sounds when I drink diet Dr. Pepper. I'm sorry. Dr. Pepper diet. Whatever it takes. It's not diet Dr. Pepper. It's Dr. Pepper diet. Apparently. Googles de cervezas. Uh, Go- and, uh, beer yeah. Googles. Beer Googles. Googles de cervezas. Googles. I like it. Welcome. Buenvenidos, everyone. Hello. All the todos de peoples. So we got, you know, bro, we got a serious talk like, Five minutes ago, and then we took like a pee break. And now we're back, <laughs> so now we're going to talk about some fun stuff. So let's talk about some fun stuff. Yeah. So we did these cool like podcasts earlier. What? I should I talk in up speaking? Like, so we we're talking and we we're making these podcasts. You know, you should keep talking like that if you want me to leave. I don't want you to leave, sir. So please, I will stop. You can do so, Valley Girl, but don't do that shit. We did fourteen Shakespearean phrases because Billy. To high acclaim. William. Yes, yeah, because. Because. Because William. Be, William. <laughs> William Wallace. William. Greenwich, Scotland. Close to like a water. So we did uh, 14 phrases of sh- of Billy. We've done some listy things. Or just not listy things, but just made up listy. listy kind of I dig it. Listy. And this is another listy thing. And it's fun. I think it's gotten some positive results. So we'll keep doing them until people tell us to stop. Okay. <laughs> Which... They'll that just could stop be listening. tomorrow. <laughs> it could be tomorrow. Could be the, all three people who. So listen this, to this could be the second list we ever do, and or the last list we ever do. Correct. Okay, it's I'm down. I think we've done a couple listy things though before this. Uh sure. We did. We did the Shakespeare. The Shakespeare. One. So this one's kind of fun. I've looked up a bunch of things. We always wonder about like the origins of certain phrases. Like your favorite is. I have not keep even your shirt on. Right. I've not even looked at that list, and I want to refer. It might be on it. I'm not. I sure. I don't know either. I just beer Googled them and I typed in for old, you know, old uh, orig- origins of phrases or something. And it came up with like about 300 of them. So we're going to break it up into like 25s here and there. 20, 25, whatever it takes. 22 and a half. Whatever, whatever it takes, you know. And um, my, one of my favorites, keep your shirt on. So I hope it's on there and we can cover it. Or if not, it might be, it's definitely on one of those lists, I'm sure. Of the 300 lists, it's on seven. So the one we're going to do today, and I will put it on the uh, notes of the podcast itself, 25 truly shocking origins of common phrases. Truly shocking? I mean, is that that an accurate statement? No, I don't think so. I think it's bullshit. I think (laughs) (laughs) I totally think it's bullshit. Welcome to the treehouse. Welcome. (laughs) The tree. That's what we should call it. Broadcasting live. Should we have an intro like broadcasting live? live, From the the treehouse. Woodsy and the the other owl. Camel toe and the man. Woodsy and the owls. Camel toe and the man. We should do have check mark and the owl. Check mark. Broadcasting live from Treehouse, yes? Yes. Yes, no? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, no. Perhaps. Not yes, no? Yes. Yes. So 25 truly shocking mm-hmm. origins of mm-hmm. phrases, of sort of phrase we use. So what happened was, Christopher has no idea. I gave him 12, and, and I, I took 12, and there's one that we're going to share at the, to close the, the uh, podcast. You, you, you told me in the email what the last one is, though. I did? Yeah. Which one was it? It's, oh, is it the, the one that starts with the this letter? Yes. Oh, okay. Never blank mind the then. blank. Oh, yeah. You Darn dipshit. It. Okay, well, I already screwed. I already blew my load. Thanks, uh, everybody. Have a good g- night. Good night. Yeah, all right. Good night. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So let's get started with our with our fun list. These aren't in no specific popular order. They're just 25 of them. Uh, they might be in um, They're alphabetical ranking. order. Oh, that's exactly the order in which they are. Because <laughs> mine. <laughs> oh, my God. Because <laughs> mine, well, to start with B. I wasn't incorrect when I said they might not have an order. They might not have, but they do have one. <laughs> yes. They do. It is alphabetical because I've got L, M, N after K. Uh, so, yeah, you're. You, sir. Sir. Yay, you, me. You just figured out the math. Are you a polymath? A polymath? Polymath. 
Do you not know what a polymath is? You didn't even know what sapiosexual was. I did not know what sapiosexual. It sounds super hot. Well, let me tell you that. Please tell me. If a woman is sapiosexual, yeah. it's my opinion that you should, and they have it on their profile on Match, because I don't know if anyone knows this, but you're single. <laughs> you're such a dick. Um, that you should reach out because you are someone I'm with sorry. whom they would I, be attracted. I must to interrupt you. For all of our listeners, what the fuck is a sapiosexual, you dipshit? You know what sapiosexual I is. I didn't. I thought someone, it was, when I when you first uttered that word to me, I thought it was a creeper. You thought it was garbage. I thought it was like, what the fuck is that? That's creepy, dude. First of all, you thought it was garbage? No, I thought it was creepy. Okay. Well, it, it was utter rubbish. Let's not kid ourselves. It was utter Until rubbish. Until you explained it to me. But you and I said you haven't seen that on people's profiles. I said on, not once ever. Not once ever. And no. lo and behold, you go home the next fucking day. The, the there f- it was. Next time you access your match account, and boom, what happens? There it was. Sapiosexual. I was like, what the fuck? So sapiosexuals are people who are very much attracted to intelligence and intelligent people, and sapiosexuals would find you irresistible, my friend. It's just the truth. If you see someone that has sapiosexual on their on their profile, okay, there is there can be a much deeper attraction than just even a physical chemical. Uh, yeah, no, I understand. It, it's deep. Once I once I understood that it's not a creepy guy. Yeah, it's definitely not a guy with uh, a van. A tra- only a trench coat <laughs> with an unmarked man that feeds that has free candy spray. Yeah, paint on I was the side thinking a white van from 1972 with yeah. no windows. Yes, with free know, candy with spray meat paint hooks on the, side in the back of. and shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I pictured. I was like. The fuck's a sapiosexual? He puts the lotion on it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there we are. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Christopher's, Christopher's on match.com in the Phoenix area. Stop so just, it, fucker. Well, if you're if you're in Mississippi, for example, just do a search within 82,342 kilometers. 82,000 kilometers? I don't, I don't know. That's like to is. like, that's to like. To the moon and back. That's to like Japan, dude. <laughs> it might be further. Um, it's like a tenth of the way to the moon or something. I don't know. I, I just made up a number, man. I don't I don't know the metric system. I don't yeah, that's Canada, bro. It's Canada and not uh it's anyone just not it's us. It's the UK. It's the not us. It's all of not America. <laughs> yeah, it's not Americans. Hell yeah, we got the metric system shoved up our ass yeah. <laughs> Wow, we, this is the worst. Are you all hopped up on a protein shake? I am on a glucerna shake, ladies and gentlemen. Rich chocolate, apparently. That looks delicious. It's actually tasty. It is tasty. It's just like, I wish it were a steak. You know what I mean? It's not, that's not steak and shake? That's just shake. You know, I have this sip and I'm like, I know that I don't know this is a steak, but ignorance is bliss. Like, I wish I was in the Matrix drinking this glucerna gooey shake in my little pod, eating that freaking medium or medium rare steak. The, <sighs> uh, I mean? it's delicious. The tomahawk pork chop? Yeah. Was that the best wow. pork chop you've ever had? Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, I thought so. Going back there, I will probably get that every time. And the reason I say that is it is, va- it is the best value on that entire. Yeah, that's not the question. Like, Fuck value. Right. It's also, well, I'm saying it's the most delicious thing I've ever had. And I could, I would wait to crave pork chop so badly just to go there would to you, get pork chop. Was that better than the steaks at Steak 44? No. Really? Well, steak, steak's a little, it's got a different flavor. Of course. Well, you know, they are different. They are, they're apples and oranges. I, I don't even like this. fruit. The, the pork the second day, because I only, I, it had came with two tomahawk. Yeah. I had it's to take just one as home. good. It is ridiculous. It was just as good. I know the steak wouldn't. The steak's good, but it doesn't ever hold. It never holds up like that did because it's. I, I think it's because it's smoked and this other stuff. Yeah. Hence the Traeger Trill purchase, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, way Traeger, to go with the what grill. What Traeger grill? Traeger Trill. The, the Freddy Krueger grill. The flop flip. The flippity flop. All right, way to go, Freddy Krueger. So twenty five. Yeah. Totally. Out. Landish, outrageous stories out something some totally ridiculous totally unbelievable whatever yeah bullshit stories you're on up. how we can no you're first i'm man. first yeah okay are you ready yes sir numero uno bite the bullet ow meaning, what does that mean yeah meaning accepting something different 
I'm sorry, I've already fucked it up. Accepting something difficult or unpleasant. The history behind this. There was no time to administer anesthesia before emergency surgery during battle. The surgeon made patients bite down on a bullet in an attempt to distract them from the pain. Ow. Yeah. It reminds me of Glory. Remember Glory? I don't think I've ever seen that, but that's a Civil War. I watched Civil with Matthew War. Matthew Broderick and uh, Denzel Washington Denzel, getting yeah. a whooping. And I think they gave him that little leather strap bite down or something. Or uh, Rico. Yes. Bite down on this, son. Yeah. It helps. I think that's what you're Rico's right. Roughnecks. Rico's Roughnecks. Bite down on this, son. It helps. Yeah. Everything goes back to Starship Troopers, bro. Most underrated show ever. Aren't you glad ever. that I brought a trash can for you? To oh, throw yeah. your shake in? Oh, that's great. In which? In, to which? In which? To which? I love bullet. ending sentences and prepositions. So biting the bullet came from a physical biting the bullet, and now it means suck it up, chief. You're going to have to bite the bullet on this one, boys. Yeah. You're going to take a hit. You're going to have to take a hit, ladies. Somebody corrected me the other day because I ended a sentence in a preposition. Yeah. But the sentence that I was corrected on also ended in preposition, and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> I want to hear that. Can you can you share? I I wish I can remember the sentence oh, because it, her sentence ended with on. Yeah, no. And I went no, no, nope. no. You can't. Nope. You just corrected me. So, oh, oh yeah, did you hear that? That was delicious. It was so funny. That's like me giving somebody shampoo or conditioner advice. That's not. It's bullshit. <laughs> like, or me giving anyone any kind of hygiene advice. You're not, you don't stink ever. And I appreciate I, I that. Don't. I shower. I appreciate that. You always smell nice. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. So you thank also, you. two tambien. All the tambourines, ta- bro. Look, three tambourines. <sighs> We're having a good time drinking and beer Googling. All right. So we have the bite. Bite the, the bullet. The bullet has been bitten. My first one, sir. I'm sorry. I want to get the, I wanted to do it. I didn't want it to be first. Yeah. But I also wanted to get out of the way. Okay. Because it hurts. Yeah. Let your hair down. Oh, fuck you. Sorry, bro. It's number, it's on, it's the first one. Okay. It's not my fault. Meaning, to relax or be at ease. Like, let your hair down, bro. History. Parisian nobles risked condemnation from their peers if they appeared in public without an elaborate hairdo. Some of the more intricate styles required hours of work, so of course it was a relaxing ritual for these aristocrats to come home at the end of a long day and let their hair down. Is that men and women? Yeah, back in the, didn't you do wigs back then too? Uh, you, I mean, think about the 1700s yeah. here, we had wigs. Right, but I mean, this was in Paris. France, right? So right. I was a, probably a Parisian global style thing. It wasn't, okay. and I'm, England obviously adopted the wig, and it probably was fashionable, I would assume, for the time. Well, if they wore a wig, they weren't doing their hair, right? But they had to do it. They had to do their hair. They didn't. Get oh, under- oh, yeah. To your point, no. This sounds like they styled the hair. Right. That's right, my question. That's is it? Point. Never mind. I with a no, no, no. I I screwed up. Right. I misunderstood. Please. Continue. Is it men or women that they're referring to in this thing with let the hair down? It did not. Because it of, said Parisians, right, right? Parisian nobles. Um, without an elaborate hairdo, I look. It was. It was Parisian nobles. It had to been the time when everyone had big hair. I was. That sounds like French Revolution times. The other thing is, too, if you wore a wig, didn't you put your hair up? Yeah. So you took the wig off and you... you let your hair down. I feel like it almost has like a double kind of meaning. I that. would agree. Right. That's. I think that's what you're hinting at. No, I'm correct? hinting at when you, do, when you do elaborate hairdos and it takes hours, is that men and women or is it just yeah. women? It's Parisian nobles. And no can you sh- tell the difference between a French man and woman? I don't know. I mean, you can now, blow? right? Is there not a joke? There. Yeah. It was funny. Discovy. Discovy. Yes. Okay. I don't know what that means. Assigned, assigned female at birth. Oh, man. Discovy. Come on, bro. Sorry. Get with, get with the program. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new drug? I want a new drug. One that won't make shake. One that won't get me out all night and make me feel three feet That thick. was really good, but it does not sound like Huey Lewis. Or a new drug. Or the news. No, it does sounds nothing like that. Down, 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 down. It sounds more like Bruce Springsteen. Ugh. Yeah. All right, man. Your turn. That sounded like Chuck So we, we let the hair down, and I think I think it's the same thing. I thought it was also to the wig thing where you put the hair up to tuck but it, it under. But it said it took hours to do. Right. 
So this may have been prior to wig time. I would think so. So this might have been 15, 16 Oh, or something. okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. It might have been where they grew out the hair, put it up, right. let it down. Yeah. And then later, letting your hair down was kind of similar, but they had wigs. So they had pre-styles that you could plop on, but you still had to put your, kind of tuck your hair away. Right. Maybe. That sound, I, Hello, Twitter world. What, what is Twitter world? Do we have any French noble experts that listen? We have, that can tell us what the fuck's going on? We have Crack Tatiana in Canada. <laughs> I don't know if Tatiana's in Wee Wee Poo Poo or if she is in like, hey, what's going on, eh? Or both. I forgot. I forgot. I think her Which location province? is on there, but I'm not going to ta- dox anyone. Right. But thank you for listening, Tatiana. We've got you covered. But if you do know about French noble people, please uh, send us a message. How about that? Yeah. Slide into or, our DMs. Uh, or uh, our crack uh, research team could tell us. Ooh, at least in our crack research team. And <laughs> and Ms. Garcia might be able to tell us. Right. She knows everything. Maybe I'll ask our super senior executive producer if she knows. We might need she's smart as shit. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're not. This is one that we came up with. Yeah. So She got the week off. She has st- a friend in town. She has right. the week off. She does. And it's her birthday. It's her birthday. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, super senior, executive vice president, producer. In charge of everything. She, and her name's not Charles. Negative. No, not at all. All right, man. Next up. You're next up. Blood is thicker than water. I love that one. Not raining blood is thicker than water. No, That's Slayer. No. Nor Red Rain. No. No. That's also a good song. Yes. Just blood is thicker than water, meaning family comes before everything else. In ancient Middle Eastern culture, blood rituals between men symbolize bonds that were far greater than those of family. The saying also has to do with, quote, blood brothers, also an amazing Iron Maiden song, because warriors who symbolically shared the blood they shed in battle together we're said to have stronger bonds than biological brothers. Blood is thicker than water. I like it. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that one? I dig it. I like the origins of it and I get it, but I can probably attest that not necessarily is blood thicker than water. But now it's changed into expression of, of oh, well, that's your family. Your family you right. can't do anything about them. Uh, you know, that's just your family. You, you got to live with them. With them. Stick with oh, them. That's just uh, your that's just your dumb cousin. No, you have to stick with them. No, no. Fuck rationale. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck logic. Which blood is thicker than water. And then comes the water. then comes, you know, the Christmas time. Oh yeah. Aunt Ethel's coming over. Get an extra bottle of wine. For me. Not her. <laughs> oh hey, uh, Uncle Tio's coming over. Uh yeah. Uh shit. Get an extra bottle of Jack for me. Crazy. And right? th- all you do is Drink yourself into a stupor to put up with your family for three weeks because you can't deal with it. And it's funny. And it makes me even think. Is it it's talks not funny about, at all. It talks about battle stuff. No, it's funny faux pas, not funny haha. And uh, what's funny about it, faux pas style, is um, the general tribalism we're going through now. Yeah. Like these groups of in, groups of people getting together, not being peaceful or just being generally douchey being dicks out there and uh, they seem to be connected somehow. And it's like, why you're part of this tribe? Cause you're part of this tribe. You have to act this way or it's kind of part of the blood is thicker than yes, water too. It's like, absolutely. you're not part of my tribe. So I totally get if that. If you're not part of my tribe, we talk about it, painting us a certain way, try to figure out my political standing a hundred percent. Like put me in a, yeah, you're all over the map. I am. I am like a shotgun blast yeah. on the map. Cause I, actually have an opinion specific to each thing and then you don't shut up about him yeah I during the movie up. oh Sorry. bro you got all sad panda faces now <laughs> <laughs> oh man bro <laughs> I've got more of wah, 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 wah than you can shake a stick at. Stop it. Yeah, that's right. More than you can shake a stick at. Meaning, having more of something than you need. History. Farmers controlled their sheep by shaking their staffs to indicate where the animals should go. When farmers had more sheep than they could control, it was said they had more sheep than you can shake a stick at. Or more than you can shake a stick at. 
I never knew that one. I didn't either, but it's pretty stupid. That's a pretty, but it's pretty rich. Like we use that all the time. Like it's yeah. normal. Like I've heard that. Of Maybe course. it's not used as I much. I mean, I hear it every month. But I hear it. Yeah. One you can shake a stick at. Yeah, I know exactly what that means. And it, it came from that. I mean, when, the tonight, etymology is crazy. Tonight when I, when I watch Jeopardy, I'll get that one right. So that's good. I did learn Ding. something today. Final Jeopardy etymology. <laughs> These shepherds use their stick to say this expression. Oh, my God. What is to shake a stick at, Alex? Shepherds use these to shake. And if they had too many of the sheep, they had more than, than they could. That was worded I, awesomely. That check was horrible. You know... I love Alex Trebek, but the question is, does he know the answers or does he know the answers off the, off the sheet? He read them before the show. He read That's them how all? He, he re- yeah. I don't know. I'm I love when, he, when like the one says something and he's like, I'm sorry. It's blah, blah, blah. And like, he says it so smugly. By the way. But I like him. I love it. He's such a nice guy. I don't yeah. think it's intentional. It's no. like a, it's like a. It's a part of his tor- quirky personality, I guess, in a weird yeah. way. But it does seem smug. By the way, that bacon was Canadian. Select. <laughs> yes. You said Bosnia Herzegovina. You switched the I and the N. You lose. I can't give you that. You get two judges. Dollars to talk you to. suck. Select. <laughs> Next, I've been watching Jeopardy on Netflix, and I love that show. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so. St- I'm so smart. Oh, wait, no, I'm so stupid. I don't stupid. know. No, I'm so smart. No, I'm so stupid. So oh. I'd have $0 at the end of the day, but only because I got half my answers right, half them wrong, half above the average. I, I, I just go. track how many I get right. I don't tr- actually track the dollars. Oh, so do you like, actually count? I'll, I'll do a tick mark. Like one show, oh, I got nine right out of the whole show. Did or, you ta- Do you take off for wrong ones? Or do you just see how many get right? You guess on every one and just guess how many you get right. Yeah, I mean... That's smart. If I, I think don't, it's positive. Yeah, if I don't know the answer, I won't say. Okay. So I rarely get one wrong because I just won't say anything. Okay. I actually try to answer every one. No. There are many times like, when I don't have an answer. Like the opera category? No, I, I don't know one of them. I attempt, but I mean, I'll never hit it. I'll never get it. You try to answer every one? I try. Why not? Because I have to try. I like... Who knows? It might be stored up there somewhere and it, I accessed it. I don't know. I'm not successful. Who won the sir? 1933 World Series? No idea. Exactly. So you would try to answer first that. First of all, I need the category. Fucking World Series. <laughs> that's not the question. That's not how it would be asked because it, yes. it would be in a statement. It would be okay. Wait, team, wait, wait, wait. Okay, the top. This no, team wait, won. Wait, top. The top would say World Series. Right. It'd say World Series champions. Right. Then the the answer would say 19. This team beat. No, the answer would say 1933. Oh, okay. And then you would that's say, Do who not- are the. That would be the Philadelphia Athletics. I don't even know, dude. I'm Why just you look that shit up. I'm not you, looking well, up why, shit. Don't you need to know an answer before you can fucking no, ask I'm me an answer? No, I'm just fucking with you. Ask me a question. I don't care. Look it up. No. I'm looking that oh, shit up. And if it's you, the dude. if it's a Philadelphia Athletics, right. what happens if it is a Philadelphia Athletics? I don't know. What do you want a hand job? Not from me. Nah, I do want a hand job. I do not want one from you. But I love you. I just don't want. For, can we just lock eyes while I'm getting a hand job, Megzi? Hello? Ricky Stoder's thumb thumb? is looking up who won. Are you stroking? Are you touching? No touching. Is it my turn? The Giants of New York defeated the Senators. Nice. See, I got it wrong. The Washington Senators. Isn't that a uh, hockey team? They used to be. They're the Capitals now. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the basketball team used to be the Bullets before they became the Yeah, we talked about that. Okay. I know. Um, Sir? Yo. You know what you and I are not? What? Or you know what you and I are? What? We're no spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no spring chicken, meaning someone who is past his prime or her. No, you know what? No, that's not true. Women are never past their prime. I agree. I agree. So no, I, mean, only I, men. I know some. Someone who's past his prime. That's yeah. true. It's a true statement. History. New England chicken farmers generally sold chickens in the spring. So the chickens born in the springtime yielded better earnings than the chickens that survived the winter. Sometimes farmers tried to sell old birds for the price of a new spring chicken. Clever buyers complained that the fowl was no spring chicken, and the term came to represent anyone past their prime. That's really interesting. I I dig that. 
But you don't like the 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 sheep? No, because I it's use because it's religious based with no. shepherd and sheep. Trigger. But it, but it but it is it oh. oh it's oh my god it's so much longer <laughs> it's because Nearly four inches longer than last uh, last look, model general podcast. motors shut up it's because i use the term spring chicken at least once a week i just use it like two three days ago because somebody was saying how i think i think it was somebody's 40th birthday and i go they're still a spring chicken so i use that very regularly that's why i like it check mark it's one of my uses it's kind of my only defense with megzy even though it's untrue uh i don't understand so megzy will go hey did you uh put the clothes in the dryer and i'll say fuck no no i'm so sorry and then she'll say why didn't you no she'll say but why didn't you Cause I'm a lazy fuck, man. So you forgot, uh, or do you just didn't want to? I'm sh- it's not out of lack of desire. I definitely just slipped my mind, okay. and I didn't listen or something. But it's Both. definitely on me. Okay. I mean, the accountability is mine, regardless of the reason. But it's generally uh, it slips my mind. I fall asleep, or I didn't hear it or listen in the first place. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> okay, cool. That's just gonna t- be honest about it. Okay. So then Megs would be like, "Oh," and she just seem. I go, well, you're no spring chicken. Because <laughs> she's so mean to me, right? Like, she's such a sweetheart. I what? love her. I do. Well, no shit, but. I thought I'd throw that in there. She is a spring chicken. I know, she is. And I, but it's funny is she didn't even, like, yell at me. She didn't even, like, reprimand me for not doing it. Well, she's not your mom, so no, she should. She just looked at me. To, yeah, but I can understand disappointment because I disappoint her often. Not in certain ways, but oh, fuck. others. What? What? But um, yeah, when she just goes, oh, and I'm like, well, you're no spring chicken. It's because I just, I lash out. Uh, I think we've learned, Linka, we learned that I have PTSD. I have the shell shock to an extent. So um, no spring chicken. It is really interesting though. So it's no spring chicken because chickens were sold in the springtime generally. And if they were born, then they'd be fresh and young and spry. The old ones that made through the winter were probably malnourished because they had nothing to feed on, probably, barely. Yeah. They were just kept alive, and they'd sell them. They're probably gamey, a little more gamey because they got more wild. They're more, like, running around or older. Yes, they're not as fresh, like you said. Yeah. I wonder if young, I guess, is, I mean, lamb tastes different. So are we steak. like summer chickens? Early um, autumn? <laughs> <laughs> we're New Year's Eve chickens. Man. No! I'm sorry, bro. Actually, no, that wouldn't even matter. We're February 20th chickens. Nice. We're probably January 20th? We're January 20th. February 29th chickens. January 20th. February 29th. Okay. You know whose birthday is February 29th? No. Darren Muse. Really? Game Iota. 17 million and four. Something. <laughs> Shout out to Darren. Well, Look uh, him up. Yeah. He kind of just went. He went off the grid, bro. Whoa. Like, uh, I was like Darren. I was like Darren. Hey, Darren, if you're listening. Which does is Darren not happening. does Darren have the internet? Um, possibly. I or is he like I, in a cabin with pigs? I don't know. He went dark, man. Okay. I don't know. I looked him up. I tried to find him, and just didn't really. I don't think I found him. I think I found something with his. But you know, they Google the Googles goes back so far. And then the beer like, Googles. The beer Googles themselves. So anyway, um, no spring chicken, sir. Hell yeah. And that's I don't know what we are. We're definitely not spring chickens. We're like Fourth of July chickens. We're probably Labor Day chickens. Labor like before Day before fall. We're before fall, okay, but okay. late summer. Okay, we can close out the summer. August Why can't chickens. we close out the summer? August chickens. Okay, August chickens. I like you know I like Labor Day because it's both our birthday month. Yes. So let's okay. Do Labor Day. Let's do Virgo Day. chickens. Virgo. Ch- I don't <laughs> mind being in Virgo. I did. I did mind being a Virgo, but I didn't mind being a Virgo in this case. Okay. So what's the next uh, The next fri- one, sir. Have you, did you look at my list? No, I didn't. I didn't. I know nothing about your list. I, l- I literally, that's not figuratively, literally. copied and okay. pasted it into an email and emailed it to you. Uh, the next one is incredibly ironical because it ties a previous podcast to this one. Well, that's nice. That we but- mentioned just 20 minutes ago. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. William. William Shakespeare. Shake it. Yes, Billy. 
Billy the Kid. Next up on the list is Break the Ice. Oh, which nice. we talked about. We did talk about that on 14 Shakespeareans. To commence a project or initiate a friendship. Their answer is different, though, isn't there, it? It is. Before the days of trains or cars, port cities that thrived on trade suffered during the winter because frozen rivers prevented commercial ships from entering the city. Small ships, known as icebreakers, would rescue the icebound ships by breaking the ice and creating a path for them to follow before any type of business arrangement today is now customary. Break the ice before beginning a project. No mention of Mr. Shakespeare. No, interesting. But we know more than this article. What's really interesting about it is not only that, you went to that explanation when we talked about it on the Shakespearean. Correct. Icebreakers. You talked about the icebreakers themselves. The and ships, I said, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the ships were after that. I would agree. I would guess that there wasn't an icebreaker in William Shakespeare's time, but maybe there was. Well, I mean, they were all wood in the 1600s, yeah, I know. right? You really wouldn't have so much you, good. You probably need metal to break ice, yeah. wouldn't you? I don't know how that. We'd have to figure that out. Because the wood wouldn't. Right. I don't feel like we'd have the. The Even if yet. the angle of the ship was very pointy, yeah, you'd have to... I think people would actually hack, go on the ice and hack at it back in the day. Or I think they even if to, you had two or three layers of yeah. wood at the front of the ship, right. would it break the ice? I don't know. If I don't would. think it would, yeah. dude. I'd, I'd be, I, I don't know to go that deep. But I like or would that you put you went, metal over the front? What I love about us... We'll have to check ...is it that out. you went to this methodology of, of the phrase. Ice breaking. And I went to different method, like a different place. You and I think so differently than how it's proposed like we just comes to us in that way it's kind of fun i love it absolutely i love how your brain works man i don't know why i don't know i'm not trying to stroke you off and give you we're still there's no touching we're still socially distant we (laughs) t-bone we're still socially distant we're not touching but you know um an emotional tug hey no just tug tugging on tugging on it a little bit no not tugging out next do you know but you know if i did that you know what you would be oh fuck what? Pleased as punch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to do this every time. This is I know fun. you are. You dick. Okay, so you would be pleased as punch if I were to tell you. No, that's that, incorrect. Don't lie. I wouldn't like it at all. So the meaning to be very happy. A 17th century puppet show for children called Punch and Judy featured a puppet named Punch who always killed people. What? The act of killing brought him pleasure, so he felt pleased with himself afterwards. Get the fuck out of here. Pleased as punch. That, I had no effing clue. I assumed it was like punch like that you drink. Yeah. Like fruit punch. That's what I was thinking. Wow. I had no idea that, A, punch was a sociopath or a psychopath. A character. <laughs> a murderer. And enjoyed it so much. A murdering puppet. It was Ted Punchy. <laughs> Holy it's crap. It's the Unipuncher. I bet that is the best origin story of all. It the probably other ones. is. That is amazing. Well, yeah, it's a murdering puppet Ch- for like children. Punch and Judy. Well, yeah, yeah but you, kill and be happy. And but, the but the kids didn't mind that there was murder. That's my point. Imagine training children that killing and be, makes you happy. That's your method of entertainment. That'd be very inappropriate. It's your nowadays, television, sir. my friends, very inappropriate. Wow, it just make you think that that's okay, and you'd probably be pretty violent as a as a growing up an adult. Uh, as a growing up youngster? Yeah. And an adult. Also. What you got in. next? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. Okay. <laughs> Butter someone up. <laughs> oh, he's choking. It reminds me of Kramer. Okay. Oh, you want to tell me ah, why? Ah, no. Is that when he was on the roof? <laughs> when he's buttered. And when Newman. he's buttered to shave and he sand tan in the butter and he smelled like a turkey to yeah. Newman. Oh, I use butter for everything. And then he was on the roof and he smelled like carne asada. And Newman, and, like and Newman goes up there and wants to eat him. Why are you looking at me like that, man? Uh, oh, my God. Anyway, butter something. It reminds me of weird science when Chet is talking to Lisa and he goes, but first I'd like to butter your muffin. <laughs> <laughs> May Chet rest in peace. Uh, 17 days. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Butter someone up to flatter someone. An ancient Indian custom involving throwing balls of clarified butter at statues of the gods to seek favor. How about that shit? 
Wow. That is a weird origin That's story. That's amazing. Well. So we we're we're we've got a tie. I mean right now. nobody died in this one? No. Well the puppets didn't. But the Indians also die. had butter, first of all. I didn't know that. that I didn't know that either. And that is that Indians like American or is that Mayans or Aztec or Incas? You know, I don't know. Or is it India? I'm gonna guess an India. Ancient India. An ancient Indian custom. That's ancient India is is this country of India. The country of India, I believe. I'm gonna guess, yes. Because Indians were here were mislaid were misnomered here, but they weren't ancient India is says country. Indian. An ancient, ancient right. Indian, Indian right. custom. Mm. I are are Native Americans ancient? Are they well, like class? Like no, I mean, I, would I wouldn't say call them ancient. At, I call see, India ancient. But some people refer to the Aztecs and the Incas ancient, and the Mayans as as civil, Indian. But it's ancient civilizations, yeah, I guess. I mean, so I don't, I. But I would have to, if I had to say, I'd say the country of India. Also, I agree. But throwing butter at statues, at statues to please the gods, to please the gods of them, statues of the people they're trying to please. That's so crazy. It's amazing. Them up. Love it. Like who'd have thought to even cover like. How did that carry through? They were on peyote. How that how's that carry through from India, through translation to Greece, to, yeah, right. to Latin, to Roman, to French, to German, to English? Like, how does it tell them? That's what I want to know. I don't know, dude. But are you like at that? If it, if that's the etymology of the origin, help help me understand how it got there. That's really interesting to me. More as much, or as it is, is it was it only in India until? Britain invaded, and then they saw it, and, and they, they, oh, they buttering them up, and then they came that and way. And they can they was there a rough translation they from jumped the shark? Yeah, from Indian to the Queen's English. They come in. In India, is still practicing it. They come in, they see the practice, and go. They're buttering these statues up. That boom sounds that could be possible too. Yeah. It could be that'd be the 1800s, 1700s. I, think I don't it know was when 1800s, the 1800s. I don't yeah. know what they because they ruled they for like 150 it. years. Yeah, right? it's a long time, long time. So, um, you know what? You would not be pleased to punch if I did. Murdered me with a puppet. Rub the wrong way. <laughs> it's no joke. They're in order. I'm not. I'm not making of this course, stuff up, bro. The alphabet. Oh yeah, but I didn't think that rub the wrong way was going to be on there. Nor I think I was talking about tugging and rubbing you right before this. How did this get all? Never mind. Sexual. <laughs> How did it get all in sexual chocolate? So rub the wrong way, meaning to irritate, bother, or annoy someone. History. In colonial America, servants were required to wet rub and dry rub the oak board floors each week. Doing it against the grain caused streaks to form, making the wood look awful and irritating the homeowner. Huh. That's interesting it as well. It really is. So with the grain makes sense that it would be it would keep it clean like yeah and then going against would have those smudges or something and then yeah rub the it was rubbed the wrong way. These are really interesting. Sometimes my the, dad the, used that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone rubbed him the wrong way, <laughs> and he rubbed everyone the wrong way. You said he was a chatterbox. Yeah. Was he? Did people like him? Did people like spending time around him? Yeah. Okay. So he wasn't an angry man. Not the man. family. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not a knocked conscious episode. Sir. I need to lay on the couch, sir. Uh, go, go for it, man. No. <laughs> um, no. Because uh, like Chatterbox, I would think, would assume like a friendliness to them. So was that hidden? Was, was, that, a, was that a beard for his darkness yes. at home? Uh-huh. Or It was an act. It was an act. was a friendliness an act. It was a facade, yeah. Or was he literally t- bipolar? I mean, it was he two I, people? Um, and could it be that he faked it? To I make think it? he was acting. He was covering the PTSD. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I'm just. I just don't want to. I don't like criticizing because no, know. of course that's rather, who he but was. I want to know. Everyone I'm, I'm was curious. flawed, and you know, yeah, he, you know, yeah. may he rest in peace. He, it's okay. He did the best he could, right? Yeah, it's totally okay. <laughs> I'm not laughing about that. You're <laughs> laughing about rubbing the wrong way. <laughs> I am kind of laughing. About it. <laughs> Actually, I just read my next one. Oh, it's dear really God. funny. You want to go ahead? No, it's your turn. It's my turn? Yeah. This next one sucks balls. Um, I would never, if I were ever to do it, 
It wouldn't be the wrong way, don't you? Oh, God, shut up. I wouldn't rub against the skin. I'd rub along the skin with the grain. Are you going to clean my floors later? No, I don't do that. Oh, well, that's what I thought you were talking about. <laughs> I'll wax if you clean my floors, floors, I don't care which way you clean them, I'm dude. I'm waxing the floors, bro. <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs> so the next one, okay, first of all, are, are you good? Yeah. I I'm, thought you were having a convulsion. I'm having a great time right okay. now. The next one, fuck cats. <laughs> I thought it was fuck kale. No? Kale and cats, fuck them both. Okay, both of them. Both of them. Fuck cats. Cat got your tongue? Question mark. <laughs> Something said when a person is a is at a loss for words. There are two possible sources for this common short saying. Fuck cats. The first refers to the cat o nine tails, a whip used by the English Navy for flogging. The and by wh- dominatrix for for being naughty. Oh, who knew? The whip caused so much pain that the victims were left speechless. Fuck cats. The second refers to the practice of cutting out the tongues of liars and blasphemers and feeding them to the fucking cats. (laughs) Why'd you gotta give me the cat one, dude? That's disgusting. You think? Both, yeah, so cat and nine. I get it. Cat and nine tails makes sense. Cat got your tongue because it's a whipping. I didn't know cat on nine tails is a sexual device. It is a sexual device. It is a sexual device. I like you're, how you like how when we talk, exactly I'm like I'm, I like how the fact that you said is a sexual device is one word. Is a sexual device. Is a sexual device. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's like forty two syllables of one word. It's, Cat and I tells us a sexual device. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you did a drive by microphone. Ooh, it is. is. I did a drive by. <laughs> I kept the volume the same. I didn't even change it, so I guarantee I the know. Doppler was working. The that Doppler came. radar. Doppler was working. Um, interesting though about the feeding to the tail. The or the feeding the tongue to the cat. To yeah, the cat got your tongue. Ugh. Literally. Literally. Yeah. So every time I have a cat, cat, cat one, do you remember the tomato stuff with vinegar in it that you put on the fries with ketchup or cats up? It's always ketchup or cats up. Yeah. I have an etymology of that. Please. May I share a story time? Uh, fuck yeah. Maybe have story it. time with at all. Do it. So back in the day, well, t- currently we see some bottles with that read cats up, C-A-T-S-U-P. And some are ketchup, K-E-T-C-H-U-P. The etymology of that is the stuff was originally made to... Uh, I'm going to have to interrupt you. Yes. Uh, Can you please give our fantastic listeners the definition of etymology? Uh, The origins of something? The origin of the word? Sure. May I have the origin of the word, please? The origin of the word. Go. Is is that correct? I hope I got that right. I I believe you did. I better Uh, have because I sound like a moron. (laughs) If I'm using the word etymology and it's all incorrectly... Entomology? No, I'm I think just it's fucking. Eta. I think it's. I'm eta. fucking with you. You're correct. Go ahead. Entomobiological. <laughs> that was very well done. The initial substance was made to grease the wooden axles of militia when they were walking because, um, it was there was a lot of friction because it was all wooden and stuff. So they put this tomato vinegar paste whatever concoction onto the axles to grease them up. When, like, back in like, like what I'm thinking like colonial. I'm the, not colonial. Uh, like like Roman times. No, no, this is American times. Okay, sorry. I believe I believe like, it's American y- times. Like Civil War, American Revolution. You know, you're gonna you're gonna really just fuck me up because I don't have okay, a time frame. Fuck. So, several it started hundred years out as ago. a story time and it ended up as a well, disaster. Well, I have questions, fucker. I I don't know. When. Okay, then just Do you say you don't know. It? I don't know. Okay, go. They were greasing the axles. Yeah. So. At, when they did that, the vehicles started moving faster than the infantry could keep up. Wow. It was just hard because they were still being pulled by horses and stuff or people were pushing whatever. So they, yeah. it was called, they were had, told to catch up. Okay. So that's where catch up, the term catch up came from. Wow. Where cats up came from yes. was when they would stop, they would park somewhere. Yeah. 
cats would come up to and lick it. Yeah. And they would cat cats up and they would lick the, the axle grease. The residue. The resi- yeah, the stuff that's on the axle. So wow. it both was ketchup and cats up. I always wondered why there was so two that. stupid spellings. Yeah. Yeah, really weird. Yeah. Yeah. And the ketchup is more like ketchup, which makes me think it's like Southern or like Civil war But I don't know. Might not be. Why is it that some people dip their French fries in mayonnaise? Um, cause it's delicious. It is. Yeah. Fat on fat on fat. Uh, no. With eggs. No. I do actually catch up at Mayo. I like a mixture of the two. Uh, you mean like thousand, thousand Island, Island dressing? dressing? Well, without the relish, it's not. Yeah. But if I had relish, I'd add it. I like thousand Island. It's still, Me it has too. A good, I agree with that. The fats with the sugar, it all works together. Well, mayonnaise works. It does have a flavor. palette. Have you tried it more than once? I've never tried it. Well, then there's your problem. We've always spoken of the judgment after the attempt. We have to eat. It's like you and I have had mushrooms in our past, so we can talk shit about mushrooms all yeah. day. Fuck mushrooms. And olives. Except for, you know, we, there's some we want to try. Yeah. Just they're not legal here. They're legal in Colorado, allegedly. We should go. We should. We should take a trip. Yeah. And then take a trip. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Um, no, but uh, you've had it, but I think you got to try it. And I honestly feel like you have to go through homemade baked crinkle cuts dipped in mayonnaise. Each one, you probably have to do 20 or 30 of them to really give it a try to no, see if you're giving it to No, no. I'm not. What if it's the most amazing thing you've ever had? What if it is? You, you literally do not know. You, and I said I literally the last two podcasts way too as much as you said actually. You have. So I'm stopping. But you, but you've been correct in the usage of your last two literallys. Correct. I haven't made. I've misused it. I've just overused it. I don't think twice is overused. Oh, okay. I felt like I used it a couple more times previously. But to that end, it could be the best thing you've ever tasted. And you will never know if you haven't tried it. It, it is a true statement. I'm Both of those father, are true though. statements, and I don't give a fuck. It's okay. Okay. And I'm good with that. Bro, America. <laughs> Hashtag America, bro. Wherever we live, I don't want to try that. Hashtag America, If we bro. lived in Bali, I wouldn't want to try oh, it there either. Yeah, but what happened? What if it was their tradition and when in Rome, boom, you fuck have to you. do it, man. Fuck you. I always get to you. You know I always will find a way. Sir, do you know that when we go to Amsterdam to go on our trips, when we go on our trip to go on our trips in Amsterdam and get you a red light district lady? A sex bot? Well, a live, a human sex bot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's not a sex bot. It's just a no, prostitute. She'll, she'll a be robotic. Of the she'll, night. Be, she'll she'll bot you up and down. She'll my be friend. robotic if you want her to be a robotic. She'll, but that's she'll, not. She'll bot you in every which way. Can we loose. play Van Halen's song Amsterdam on the way there? If we can do whatever Wham, you want. Bam, but when we go to Amsterdam, Amsterdam, you know, we put on in in Amsterdam. Mayonnaise. Look, you have to because you're in Rome, which is, is Amsterdam at that point. Is, and you said the Monte Cristo with the syrup yeah, has to go. Cizurup. So you have to have. Thank you, Snoop Dogg. You do have you, to have the mayonnaise is on the mayo fries. big in Amsterdam? Yeah, that's what they do. Remember? Don't you remember the Pulp Fiction where they talk about what he puts on the, what oh, they put on in Amsterdam? No. Remember? That's right. I'm going to motherfucking Amsterdam. I remember the Royale Royal with cheese. That's in France. And I, But I don't remember the mayo in Amsterdam. The metric system. Yeah, he goes, you know what they put in Holland? You know what they put on French fries in Holland? Mayonnaise. They, they drown it in that shit. Do you not remember half of this? We got it. I just remember I'm the foot fucking master. I'm the foot. I, I don't, don't tickle or nothing. Foot, I, <laughs> would you give me a foot massage? Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm feeling a little tired. I could use a foot massage. Fuck you, man. Um, that is in there, but it's in Holland they drown that shit. So when we go to Holland. The land of dykes. You're, you're going to be. I could watch that Hated all day. Hated it. I could watch Dykes all day. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face is priceless, man. Oh, my God. <sighs> Sometimes I'm not a, as good a person. What as I do be. you have on your list after fucking cats? Oh, did you do that one? Cat got your tongue, right? Cats done? can fuck off. How about this one? Hey, Ricky Schroeder, you want to take this one? Yes, he does. That's right. It's rule of thumb. Thank Whoa! you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. That is correct. We do have one. Oh, the rule of thumb. Shut up. It's the, the rule, rule of, of Ricky, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. thumb. There we are. <laughs> rule of thumb. Meaning a common ubiquitous benchmark. 
history. Legend has it that 17th century English judge Sir Francis Buller ruled it was permissible for a husband to beat his wife with a stick, given that the stick was no wider than his thumb. But it could be 12 feet long. Yeah, it could be fucking heavy <laughs> as fuck. It could be dense. It could be a dense motherfucking so, stick. Wow. That actually goes faster. It would hurt more than a fucking plank. Yeah. Asshole. Wow. <laughs> That's fucked up. Fuck. What, what year was that? Rule of thumb. Uh, 17th century. So 1600s. 1600s. Sir Fran- English judge Sir, Sir Francis, Francis Buller ruled it was permissible for a husband to beat his wife with a stick, given the stick was no wider. Sir Francis than a thumb. Buller, also known as Ricky Schroeder's dad. Yeah. <laughs> As the guy in Silver Spoons? Yes. With Aaron Gray. I know. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> and Alfonso Ribeiro. Not on his word. Buck Rogers, sexy girlfriend. Oh, man. Oh, sexy and girlfriend. She was so hot in that you need hard. <sighs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, we are. We need to stop. It's like <laughs> you know what it is. It's like the Chris and Chris show or the Mark and Mark show. We don't, like it's literally two the same. It's twinsies. It's the same person. Stop saying the L word. See, I can't say the L word now. What's the L word? Literally. Oh, all right. I was like, so lesbian. rule of thumb. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. L- <laughs> Liberia. What's Liberia. the L word? Lithuania. Libya. <laughs> Library. Albania. Albania, uh, you, you border, border on, on the Adriatic. <laughs> your your exports mostly corn and something. I don't remember that second part. <laughs> Coach, yes, from Cheers. Oh my gosh, correct. we are no spring chickens. That's sir. my favorite that show of all time, dude. The fact is, we are no spring chickens, not by any means. That is correct. So go. No, so go. Caught red-handed. No. Yes. What about Harry Pomped? Uh, I don't even know Harry or Harold <laughs> or Harold. To be caught doing something wrong, caught red-handed. This saying originated because of a law. If someone butchered an animal that didn't belong to him, he had been caught with the animal's blood on his hands to be convicted. Being caught with freshly cut meat did not make the person guilty. Caught red-handed. So killing the animal made you guilty, but having the meat didn't. He had to be caught with the animal's blood on his hands to be convicted. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Just having the meat. So having a steak's no big deal, but you got to have the steak blood. Right. So if I washed it off, it's like washing off the GSR, the gun gun residue. Yes. Gun powder, GPR, gun powder residue. Sure. Uh, so that it looks like you didn't discharge a firearm, for example. Yes. This would be your hands, as long as your hands weren't red with the blood, but you had a fucking brand new steak sitting in front of you that wasn't even cooked yet. Yes. Or just meat. Meat. Then you're good. Yeah. Wow. That's a, an interesting one. Who knew? Caught red hand. I could get the blood thing, but like I didn't know that you had to get caught that way to get to actually be convicted. So That's wash your hands. Yeah, they didn't even have a different like. Hey, we have other. We've got a video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look! I was on my GoPro while I was pirating back here, and I, I think I captured this on 4K. No, he's no. We have to let him go. He doesn't no, have blood on his hands. No, no, but no, man. I, I swear, it was in the frame. I was cutting out, and we were pirating, right? And I, my GoPro. There was rape and pillage. 4K, 4K, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Caught red-handed. Yeah. Uh, So this is my favorite thing of all. Of all? I have spoken to you about douchebaggery, correct? Yes. Of course you abhor. I abhor douchebaggery. Of course you do. Douchebaggery bothers me. Of course it does. That is the actions of douchebags. It's douchebaggery. It's really the effects of douchebags, right? Is it literal or actual douchebaggery? It's actual douchebaggery. (laughs) It's figurative douchebaggery as well. Okay. All and three. What I wanted to do yes. was start a website. Yeah. And it was going to have all these awful acts of people caught on video or still pictures or whatever. And I wanted to post them up to just put it out there. Kind of like, you know, like people walking through Walmart. 
<laughs> like they've got sweatpants on and the guy has like a crack hanging out. Yeah, and- doll duct tape to his thigh on the little scooter. I don't it's like weird stuff. So be exactly. douchebaggery.com. Douchebaggery and the phrase run amok. Okay. I love run amok. Yeah, do things too. have run amok. And spelling it's weird because people still don't know, but unless you know. Because if you don't know, now you know. What? Because um, people spell it wrong? Yes. So it's douchebaggeryrunamuck.com would be my website <laughs> that I wanted to have. And I, I was going to buy it, but I never, I had so many irons and so many fires that I just backed away from that. It wasn't even a project. It was barely a thought. But I thought someone should take douchebaggeryrunamuck.com and make a thing out of it because it sounds just like an amazing website. I would agree. But run amuck, the meaning is to go crazy. History. This short saying comes from the Malaysian word amok, A-M-O-Q, which describes the behavior of tribesmen who, under the influence of opium, became wild, rampaging mobs that attacked anybody in their path. Wow. Malaysian. How about that? Amok. We have a shoe down. Amok, 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 amok. It's shoe baggery run amok. Oh, no. <laughs> I like that one. Me too. I would never have guessed. What's that so movie? they fucking got hopped up on the oops and the oids. Which one? Which movie? With Carrie Bradshaw, Three Witches. It's like Witches really, of Eastwick? No, it's really goofy. Hocus Pocus? Yes. And she says, amok, 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 amok. With Bette Midler? Yeah. Guess who just watched that? Megzy. Megzy. Amok, Downstairs. Amok, amok, amok. What I think it was on after you and I recorded last time. Sir. How about that? Yeah, she she's like I'm getting in the Halloween spirit, and I said that's great, Megzy. I talk, I do I, I've I've learned that I have horrible Megzy impersonations. That wasn't bad. She told me that I do not sound like her at all when I go blah 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 blah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't. How would how would that sound like you? You sound much more eloquent than that. <laughs> but I love you, Megzy, and Megzy's beautiful and amazing. I'm ha- very 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 happy. That's amazing. I'm lucky. Yeah. Very, very lucky. Absolutely. Because I I do not generally outkick my coverage. That's is that on the list? Next. I I I'll can't kick imagine my coverage. That. It's too early. No, you, we already went has by the we went we went by the O's already. Oh yeah. It has, it's We're too already late. by the O's, dude. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yes, sir. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I've always wondered about this one. Hang on to valuable things. When getting rid of unnecessary things. During the 1500s, most people bathed once a year. That's wretched and disgusting. Ew. <laughs> also, <laughs> ew.com. I can't do once every like three days. Uh, yeah, it's every day, man. <coughs> every, every other stuff. Every other is also <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, he me. turned to me and said, Helen, I haven't missed one bit with his smoking. <laughs> oh, man. Even when you know they... what's going to have my tongue? My throat. Because I'm going to choke on I'm going to throw oh. you. Oh, he made oh, me cough. Oh, <laughs> is, that, is that like yawning? Yes. Even when they did bathe, the entire family used the same tub full of water. The man of the house bathed first, followed by other males, then females, and finally the babies. If you can imagine how thick and cloudy the water became by that time, so the infant mothers had to take care not to throw them out with the bathwater when they emptied the tub. I'd like you to repeat. Ew. Was there ever a PSA like, don't leave your dog in a car, don't leave your kid in your pool? Is there like... Don't leave your baby in the in the tub. There, there was a there was on the side of the, there was a billboard on the side of the rutted little muddy road that you would go by with your horse. Yes, do not leave your baby in the bathwater, you dumb whore. Stop. <laughs> Check the tub. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know. What and then did. I don't know. Did you I yell too loud there? Year, I feel like I yelled. What did the house smell like? Yeah, and what did that water... The water was mud. I can't even imagine it being water anymore. And you wouldn't think of changing it once? Just kind of switch... I, okay, just bathe once a year, but everybody gets some fresh water, people. Or did you, each. like... Go into a fucking river. Yeah, did you just... Jesus in, Christ, okay, man, where okay, are you? Stop, wait. So if you're in the 1500s, <laughs> pick a country. Christ. Spain, France, sure. whatever. Even if you're in America, you're like a Quaker that came to the U.S., whatever. 
do you like go to find a river once a week and go for a swim? Do you, is there, or is it just natural to become stinky? When, what year was this again? In the 1500s. I can't imagine them not, it's coming out of the dark ages, right? 14, 1500s or 1600s? 1500s. That's, that's the 16th Renaissance. century. Yes, yes. When did that start? 13 or 12, 14? Sure. The dark ages were pretty bad there for a while. Well, I'm just wondering what their thought process. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a misnomer whether they went into rivers and showered like Lakes. In, the, in the Danube while like yeah. on off weeks. Well, there's 51 off weeks. Right. And, uh, <laughs> 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 on off weeks. There's 51 of them <laughs> every year. It's like That's you're in the NFL. Hilarious. Oh, we have 51 bye weeks. That is the we're f- off again this week, guys. Oh, my God. We play once a year. Yeah, we, we have to practice again. Uh, Dude, we're, we have 52 more bye weeks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, under, I don't understand that one. That's just, But, I mean, obviously, hot. we were raised in a massively different time. Yes. But I can't imagine going, bro. Yeah, bro, you stink. Yeah, you do too. Do you want to go jump in the lake? Didn't the Romans even bathe like they once had a baths? Week? That's my they point. They had Roman bathhouses Ro- 2,000 Hello. years earlier. Yes, that's my point. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say, brah. I know. I'm, did I steal your thunder? No. I'm so I'm, sorry. You're just supporting it. I'm just saying that's also what I am too tammy in saying that. Oh, uh, yes. I think. Too tammy. Mm-hmm. Did you like that I texted back that one person that texted me unsolicitedly? Yes, too tammy. Fuck off. And then they said, we'll remove you. And I said, and then said, how to have a great day to me. And I said, too tammy. <laughs> so they don't even know whether I'm American or. Yeah. Like, You're bilingual, well, dude. They don't know if I speak English as my first language or Spanish mm-hmm. because I replied once in English and once in Spanish. <laughs> First, you said, fuck off. Then you said, too tammy. <laughs> And it was great because it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect for that because they said, uh, have a great day after I told them to fuck off and that, that they're removing me from their list. Hey, fuck off. Have and, a great day. And I wrote to Tamian. And they're like, uh, uh, Cheryl, do you know what to Tamian is? <laughs> I've got story time. Did we do one already? You in this did, one? but do it again. Oh, I can't. No, do it again. No, we're not going to do it. I'm going to do a story time though. Okay. This one goes out to our friend Lillian. You've, have you met Lillian? I do not know Lillian. Elzuni. No. No, I don't know. It's Lillian anyway. Lillian is a friend who got us started on the podcasting thing anyway. Helped me put together the soundproofing stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. You remember Lillian, the Houston, the Houston Astros fan. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't you know yeah, yeah, yeah. that is. Come I'm on. sorry. I do. I withdraw. Lillian, shout out. Lillian. Lillian got, helped me get motivated to get all this crap started. And we're in AJ's one day. AJ's Foods. AJ's, F- AJ's foods, Fine Foods. Fine Foods is a... It's very nice. It's very it's nice. Hoity toity. It's hoity-toity. You can imagine the clientele of AJ's Fine oh, yeah. Foods when their ribeye steak is like four times the price of a steak. Correct. But the quality is fantastic. It's better. But I don't it's know if it's four times, expensive. but it's definitely better. Great wine selection. Hey, no, no. It's a great store, but it suits a certain niche. If Correct. you have that taste and you have that means, but many people do or not have that means. disposable income. Right. Many people have Walmart target need, means. Yeah, I it's only just, go there about once a year. Right. It's rare, but I love, like, I'll go when they have, like, shish kebabs on sale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, like, only oh, six ninety nine a pound. The twice-baked like, potatoes do. Oh, yeah, that's right. At five bucks a pound, but they're worth yeah, $5.50 a Yeah, but it's like a, a baby's on. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the thing, but it's five bucks. That's, like, eight pound potato. It's delicious, though. Yeah. And no, their their quality and their cigar selection yeah, is agreed. phenomenal. Yeah. All of it's great. Produce. Unique beer. Unique beers. They have some of the Kaloa rum that I love from Hawaii. It's the only rum I drink. So they have a lot of, they're amazing. Yeah. It's a certain clientele though. Lillian and I are at the butcher getting shish kebabs. And Lillian is what you, of which you are half. She's Mexican American? Pretty much. Okay. Mexican American. I've met her parents, awesome people. They're amazing. She's cool, but she's born and raised in Houston, I believe. But she's pretty much bilingual. Um, so like you know, like no accent, like like I'd be like poor favor. She'd be like, por favor. You know, she'd like hit it, right? Yeah. Like I wouldn't know exact. But I'm better with my dialect because I am bilingual as well. So being bilingual helps yeah. with other languages of course. and kind of adapt. But so we're sitting, we're standing at the butchers now. Being Mexican American, because she, she's an American and her parents are Americans. Um, this little old white lady comes up to us and she goes, "Excuse me, 
you speak Spanish, right? How do you say this word? And it was C-O-T-I-J-O. And I just, I was like flabbergasted. Of, I don't know if that was racial or racist. Because there's a fine line between the two. One, I'll accept. One is obviously unacceptable. Did she point out the brown woman in the supermarket? In the AJ's? Yes. Right. Because it was a it's Spanish a rare, thing she grabbed. Yeah. And like, oh, well, there's a white, well, there's a pale person in myself next to a brown person. Yeah. I, I kind of mess with her about it every once in a while because like, I don't really let her live. I go, excuse me, you speak Spanish, right? <laughs> I'll just say that out of the blue. And she just would shoot daggers. But it was, it, it was funny, but it's scary funny. Like, it really shouldn't be funny. Agreed. Anyway, I have no idea where, what, where we were Why does that, that pertain to throwing the baby out with the bathwater? I have no idea. Is that the last one we were on? Yes. Really? Did you throw the shish kebabs out with the... I No, I don't, the, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. You remember. Somehow cleaning something, going to a store, washing the shower. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, depend, oh, pick a country is probably where it came from. And then, excuse me, you speak Spanish. I don't know where that... My brain does not function properly, Twitter world. We've Can I go? We covered that 43 episodes can, now. Can I, can I go? No, you must stay because I need Fuck you. Fuck this. I need loose. I need silent lucidity. <laughs> right? Ugh, there we go. Queens You're up, bro. Oh, yeah. So did you know that Zach Morris, a.k.a. his real name, Mal, Mark Paul Gosselier. What about Screech? Is doing a podcast called Zach in Time. No. Because he's never watched any of the Say by the Bells no ever. No way. He claims he's seen portions, but he's never watched them. And if he had even seen them once, he hasn't watched them in 20 years since, in 30 years since they came out. Okay. Okay. So he now goes and watches them with somebody and goes through his thought process while he was in it. I think that's a great. That's fan- like idea. episode by episode. Fantastic. Episode by episode. Zach in time is what it's called. Did you talk about? I've, I've heard only one of it, one of them, and it was a good start. It, I will listen to the first one. Did you talk about great. Tiffany Amber Thiessen and I hope so. What's the other girl's name? Jesse Spano. Jesse Spano, oh. the tall one. The show girl. I know. I saw Le Moon Fry again. And uh, Sorkin. Lisa Turtle. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know. The blonde. No, the blonde. T- uh, the one from 90210. With the messed up face. That she's got a nice down. body. She's got a beautiful body. The daughter of the producer. Yes, that guy. Aaron Spelling. Yeah, Spelling. Tori. Tori, Tori Spelling. Spelling. Thank you. So this one's Saved by the Bell. Shut when you up. wake up in a mo- Well, yeah, it's not like I was precognitive. I was reading it. I so think you are precognitive. Well, I am, but that not in this case. <laughs> not with Zach and Time. So Zach you're, and Time, You're going to do out. what? Are you oh. going to go Zach, Zach in- and Time? <laughs> going to go Zach and Time. <laughs> Say by the bell, meaning rescued from an unwanted situation. History. As scary as it sounds, being buried alive was once a common occurrence. Shut up. I I stopped knowing that you had would have had to have a reaction to that. Yeah. Let me read that again, ladies and gentlemen. And sir, and, ladies and, and James, me. <laughs> ladies and James, as scary as it sounds. Being buried alive was once a common occurrence. People who feared succumbing to such a fate were buried in special coffins that connected to a bell above ground. You can't hear me shaking my head. I I hear it going, (laughs) but I think the uh, Roadcaster Pro is taking out that Oh, that it's, bl- it's sound noise canceling. Yeah, but I hear it rumbling. Okay. I hear your head oh, yeah. creaking I'm and shaking like, oh for my sure. God. But it is very poorly. Okay. So they were buried in special coffins that were connected to a bell above ground. At night, guards listened for any bells in case they had to dig up a living person and save them, quote unquote, air quotes, by the bell. Oh, my God. How about that one? That might be in the running for creepiest one. 
how do you get buried alive? Like, how quickly do you get to the funeral? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like, hey, Joe's dead. All right, let's bury him. Like, do they just fucking start, I mean, hey, grab a shovel, Joe. How bad is your just medical start, doctor? Did they just start grabbing fucking shovels and going to their own cemetery? Like, oh, we got it. We'll we'll take care of it. Yeah, like, are you, is it a three-day coma or what's the story? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what's, you don't see breathing at all? None? Oh shit, I'm in a coffin. Like, what makes you say you don't get a die of asphyxiation before you even get a chance to ring the bell? Because you was you're sleeping this whole time. That's a great point, dude. I guess you die. Then you're dead. That's then crazy. you're really dead. How many You're not just fake dead. How much does the extra say by the bell function uh feature? Like option? Like like a car? Like when you go into the funeral and be like, okay, we got this cool save by the bell function Seven feature pence. or option. Um no okay. So we're gonna bury your kid in like twenty eight seconds after it's De- quote unquote dead because obviously they didn't even know it was dead because people were buried alive how did that's fucked up i don't even know un- i drunk i don't even know under- there you go drunk but breathe you're breathing yeah wouldn't you put a, a mirror under someone's nose uh, back then if you're burying people alive you probably aren't <laughs> no shit <laughs> I'm just saying. i mean and i'm not well, even a medical doctor <laughs> what i mean by that is you probably don't have the brain capacity to think to put a mirror under their nose haven't they seen CSI? What's going on? But they came up with the bell option. That is an amazing solution to yeah, a problem. Yeah. See, that's what America's all about. That is a solution. I don't know if an American came up with that. They just said it. Um, they just didn't say when it ha- like where it happened. Yeah, it just said people were buried alive a lot. But whoever came up with that, that's what in, in, ingenuity. It's a solution to a problem that doesn't ruin the rest of the world. True. Congratulations to the person who created the yeah, Bell way to go. Saver. All right, sir. Eat humble pie. Humble pie. Making an apology and suffering humu- humiliation, a little, humiliation along with it. During the Middle Ages, the lord of the manor would hold a feast after hunting. He would receive the finest cut of meat at the feast, and those of a lower standing were served a pie filled with entrails and innards known as umbles, U-M-B-L-E-S, therefore receiving umble pie, was considered humiliating because it informed others in attendance of the guest's lower status. So umble turned into humble. That's disgusting. Entrails and innards. Did they end up inheriting the earth, the people they ate umble? Uh, they didn't say meek, but sure. <laughs> Meekle pie. <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on that? That's gross. Yeah. Should they just have been happy they got something to eat? <laughs> <laughs> they should have just said, I'm very happy to be here. What if, what if some like elite assholes like, I love entrails. Oh, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. With, love it. With some fungus. Love it. Give me, give me a scoop of that pie. Oh, the arugula and the goat cheese. I'll take the umbro. Fantastic. That's disgusting. Yeah, I don't want haggis. Pie. Entrails. I mean, entrails. Well, that's haggis, right? Isn't that entrails? I don't know what. Oh, well, it's stomach. I, stomach intestine, lining. Intestines is, or something. No, but line. haggis is the stomach lining is the outside, but I don't know what's inside haggis. They stuff it with stuff. With crap. With meat. I don't think. Do they feed the cow before they while it's in there? Is that then they take it out? I don't know, dude. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know either. <laughs> I wonder if that's what they do. They you want to get some f- umble pie after this? No, you know what I would like what? is cheesecake. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'd like a diabetic coma, please, Hell to yeah. go. Humble pie. Yeah, man, cla- classes, class, cla- class whatever. system, class system, tough man. Yeah, we're, I mean we're still technically in. That. Yeah, that's really what our problem is. Uh, that's really, uh, what our problem uh, is. Uh, also, yes, I would we'll agree with it, that. We'll just leave it at that. Sure, we don't need to get any deeper. No. Moving on up. Show your true colors. God damn it. Why does this have to happen to me? I don't I don't know. Well, I mean, we were just trying to avoid we were talking about it being a class thing. That's kind of funny. Mm-hmm, yeah. Anyway, meaning to reveal one's true nature. And I see your true colors. Oh no. Le- Cindy, please shut up. True colors. Shh. That's why I love you. Shut up. Nope. Right? Just speak. Speak the definition. 
Warships used to fly multiple flags to confuse their enemies. However, the rules of warfare stated that a ship had to hoist its true flag before firing and hence display its country's true colors. That's interesting. I never knew that was where that came from. That is super interesting, and I want to really delve into that a little bit. No. Why not? I don't want to. Oh. Okay. I don't like you. I'm not even supposed to be here. Um, I'm going to delve anyway. How about that? I knew you would. I know. I know you knew, so I knew that you knew that I knew. Look, you had some unknown wants, and I just took away the defenses so that you'd show them to me that you wanted me to tell you this boring story. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't know that they had to fly flags of war. I thought that you could just fire whatever the fuck they wanted. Yeah, I didn't know there were rules of naval warfare. Interesting rules of engagement. Like, oh, there's an attack. hard deck my ass. There's got to be uh, an attack one, a a peace one, right? Not surrender, a surrender, obviously. Right, yeah. I never knew any of that. Me neither. So they would fly different flags and then throw the last one up and then boom! Well, they didn't have to. I mean, well, they said yeah, they had I mean, to. They had to show their true colors before yeah, attacking, or you could firing. just always leave your true colors up if you wanted to. Well, yeah, I guess. But if you're always showing that you're going to attack, who's going to let you go by them without them shooting at you? They yes. think you're going to be attacked. Correct. So you wouldn't put that one up unless Until the you last had to. moment. Yeah. But how? Think about how. Like, where's the ethics in that? You've got these rules of engagement. No, you must let us know your intention to fire before you fire. There's no time frame to that. How, do, how ethical is it? Like, throw it up, boom. Yeah. You know, like, while the yeah, fuses yeah. are being lit, they're lit, they're raising the flag. Yeah. Like, holy shit. How fine a line did they play with that? I'm sure a and lot. And if they cheated. Right, of course. And we how, added up. How many ships were, like, pirate, you know, owned, whatever, right. taken over by pirates, and they did whatever the hell they wanted? Yeah. Surviving. I'm sure this was within the... Yeah, "Quote unquote civilized pirates probably were off the grid and well, no, I would say it was like you know when the the British Navy ruled the seas, seventeen eighteen hundreds, right? East India's trading company or yes. East, yeah. correct? Yeah, it's really interesting. I love that one. Show you their true colors. I had no idea. Thank you, Cindy Lopper. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I think she's on the mask. Just FYI. Oh, really? I'm putting myself out there. Mm-hmm. It's her, Tina Turner. I think it's weird. Whoa. It's weird. Her vo- the voice they they disguise the talking voice. Yeah, but it's got this strong New York accent, and oh. I know Cindy Lauper kind of talks like yeah. that. I think it's her. She's from Queens. She sounds. She still can sing though. She really can sing. Okay, surprising. I mean, I guess it's surprising. You wouldn't guess. Girls just want to have one, fun. Wasn't a singer song, but she can actually sing singing songs. Okay, it's not just a pop gal. Okay. Anyway, my eighteen pence. All 17. Or Mike. Yeah, right. Whichever one. Go Whichever team. Whatever, yeah. What we got next, bro? I'd like to give you the cold shoulder, bro. No. A rude way of telling someone he isn't welcome or to ignore someone. Although giving someone the cold shoulder is considered rude today, it was actually, it says that there, it says actually, I'm not, I swear to God, it says actually. Y- yeah, Sir, are you certain that you did not mira, say that word yourself? Mira, actually. Okay, okay. I see it. Oh, I see mira, it. Big. I read it. I blew it up, sucker. Okay. okay. The flag has been put back in my pocket. Boom. There is no foul on the flag. Okay. You put away your yellow card, you fucker. the word, the, the, the meaning. It's considered rude today. It was actually regarded as a polite gesture in medieval England. After a feast, the host would let his guests know it was time to leave by giving them a cold piece of meat from the shoulder of beef mutton or pork holy shit it was act it was really a a cold shoulder it, was it wasn't physical human. cold shoulder a piece of meat from the shoulder of beef pork or mutton that's i had no holy idea holy crap i thought it was human like the cold shoulder right i didn't know it was an animal right and that's that's what I thought was a cold shoulder when you turned away. Correct. It was like a chilly, An emotional, a chilly yes. response. Yes. You gave me the cold shoulder. That's yes. what I would have guessed also. Whoa. But they gave him freaking leftovers. Cold meat. This is like, hey, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, here kind of thing. Here's That's your doggy bag. Get the right. fuck out. Yeah. But it wasn't a nice way because they gave him something. Yeah. So they're like, 
Yeah, you don't have to go home, but you can't say I'm closing yes. time. <laughs> One last call for beef shoulder. So finish your whiskey or beer. That was a good one. It I, was. One last time for shoulder. Yes. Beef shoulder. Yes. Yeah. That's can where Semi Sonic came from. Can I we it's... get a uh, an appearance by the lead singer of Green Day, please? When it's time to go. Hope I'll give you some more to shoulder. <laughs> Wake me up when the selection ends. <laughs> I love which is how, over by like ten days now. I love Thank how goodness. You, a, you don't breathe out of your nose, and B, you play air guitar and nobody can see you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it if I don't play air guitar. I'm gonna tape your hands I, I feel to like the I, chair, I and you're like, I, I can't do it. I, Let my hands go. <laughs> you need, no one for, can see you play air guitar, dude. I'm telling it's you that so I have funny. I think I have to. I Should think I video I have to, you and tweet that I, when no, we release this? No, I think I have to do it when I when I do Billy Joe. <laughs> I don't know why I have to play air guitar. Oh my god. Like Bob Marley, I don't play Bob. I don't do that. You don't play Air Bob? No. Just Air Billy. Like, oh, pirates used to revive. That's just easy because he didn't really play guitar. He could play. Right. But I don't think he did. He was more of a performer, stage performer. Yeah. But Billy Joe, I think, always has a guitar. So I feel like Not I Not Billy to, Joel. Uh, Joe. But Billy, Billy Joe. Yeah. Billy Joseph. Yes. Billy Joel has something. Completely. William Joseph. Yes. Okay. Da. Next. That is so interesting, though. Giving a cold, give him a cold cut. Give him a leftover. A cold cut. Good night. Here you go. Here Fool. you go. Get the fuck out. But in a nice way, because I'm giving you something to take home with you. That's, and I still think, I feel like it's, oh, man, it was a chilly reception by turning. Yes. A human, literally, the cold show. Like, right. oh, Woodsy's here. Ugh. Yeah, no one can see you turning the chair and giving me a shoulder, sir. That's chilly. All right. The chilly con carne shoulder. Our category is phrases. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not easy. Our category is what's in between. Uh oh. The crack. Good night, comma. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh. Uh. Sleep tight. I'm sorry, I oh, needed that in the form of what is question. The, what is sleep tight, Alex? Correct. Oh, yes. Nice, man. That was awesome. By the way. I thought that was a pretty good clue. That bacon was Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> um, sleep tight. The meaning, sleep sleep well. You know, comfortably and, and deeply, right? Yeah. Sleep tight. During Shakespeare's time, mattresses were secured on bed frames by ropes. In order to make the bed firmer, one had to pull the ropes to tighten the mattress. Oh. But hmm. don't you want it less firm? Some well, people like a cushion here. Some people like it rocks. Yeah. So, but so, you know, That's different interesting. strokes. Yeah. So wow. they tightened the rope. That's one I would never have guessed. I would have never in a million years thought. That I thought maybe the, 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 sh the, the blanket over top would be tight to keep you warm. One tuck and one untuck. Remember from Seinfeld? Yes. <laughs> the tucking of the blanket. Yeah. That's what I thought. You were tucked in right. and snugly tight. Yeah, to keep you warm. You were sleeping tight. Yeah. Not that way. Not with the thought, ropes. Yeah, the ropes making the mattress firmer. I would I never... would like to also point out this is the second. To Tambian point out? William Shakespeare reference. Sir. That is the second Shakespearean Jace. reference. So let us... Way to go, let, Team William. I think we've been on the, we're on the right track with this podcast episode, also, sir. Also, that is correct, sir. We are phenomenal. None compare. There's really no comparison to None. anything. Nothing compares to him. To us. There's literally no comparison Was this one to us. also? And I said literally again. Gosh oh, darn it. son of a bitch. You, you and I are not going to say. We're going to switch The A word rules. and the L word? The A and the L word from The law on. word. Did, was this one also on the Shakespearean one? I don't know. Go cold turkey. I don't think so. I think off the wagon or something was, or some weird one was, wasn't okay. it? To quit something abruptly. People believe that during withdrawal, the skin of drug addicts became translucent, hard to touch, and covered with goosebumps, like the skin of a plucked turkey. To go cold turkey. That's disgusting. So they had like goosebumps, so they were like a, and clammy? 
Translucent, hard to touch, and covered with goosebumps, like the skin of a plucked turkey. Sounds really ugh. Wake me up when. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, do that shit like you did. I think you did a great job. Uh, man. Uh, Look, that was a that was a phenomenal copy of a copy. Uh, lemonade. You know how you make copy a copy it doesn't come out sharp. <laughs> the original. We're gonna we're gonna eat a dolphin. We should <laughs> we should. I like pizza, Steve. We should uh, totally have a multiplicity. Uh, I like pizza, Steve. <laughs> I like pizza, Steve. You know how you make copy copy it doesn't come out sharp. The original. <laughs> <laughs> like just Keaton's like because uh, he's the man guy because yeah. he's the copy his he's voice like number gets two. deeper number two yeah like, I like I'm good with tools like he's a man man yeah and the other guy's like the middle and the other guy's like, like the super sensitive and then the other guy's special like I like pizza thief when he's shaving his tongue I was cracking and he's licking the pizza <laughs> uh, we're gonna pet a good. dolphin oh you're gonna pet a dolphin <laughs> And then he had sex with Andy McDowell. Andy they McDowell all was violated had sex. by a mentally challenged. They, all four of them had sex. She with her. should have gone to jail for that. <laughs> he was not of mental. Consent. He was not eighteen. He was not a mental consent ability. Well, a he was one day old. <laughs> That's true. So he, he wasn't even he, of the he, age of consent. He was a baby. He was a baby. <laughs> now, how they got the super growth? A wee how baby. They got him to grow like a like a like a what? He grew like a grew like a weed. The last, the lad grew like oh, a weird your crapper. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so uh, wow. Next, where are we? Is, was that yours? Yes. What was yours? I don't know. I don't remember either. Cold turkey. Cold turkey. Oh, uh, cold you have to turkey say burger. That? I had no idea, but that just seems odd. I don't like cold turkey. I love what all, did you think? It was? I love all turkey. Did you have a thought about that one? I would have never. No, I mean, I, I mean, I knew it was when you quit something abruptly, but I didn't know. Right. We I didn't understand that it was. That if you get off drugs, you become like the plucked turkey skin. Right. Same thing is like you and I thought of the cold shoulder thing. We had yes. at least a thought about what we thought it was. Correct. The reasoning. I had no idea about cold turkey. None. Mm -mm. That's a weird one. It's just weird. Yeah. And I, but it makes sense. I guess you'd be all clammy and bleh, like plucky and disgusting. I didn't know you got all translucent. I wonder what drug are we taking here? Uh, heroin. Oh, I don't. I don't opium? know. It was on your list, bro. I don't know. I thought I'd ask. I'm sorry. Fuck. All right. Spill the beans. Oh, yeah. Spill them. Where were you last night? Spill the beans. Uh, where was, were you? Uh, where, ah, where were you? I was getting. Spill the beans. I was getting beans at Filiberto's. Oh, you're. Oh, so you're eating the beans. Yeah. They were spilling them into I the I was cup. getting a fucking bean burrito. Get off my ass. <laughs> okay. I was just checking in. I hope that doesn't come out like douchey like I was yelling at you. You were yelling at me, but, I know, it, but in a fun way, I hope. Anyway, douchebaggery run amuck.com. Douchebaggery run amuck.com. Someone get it. Meaning to reveal a secret. History in ancient Greece. It's a long time ago. It was. It's a long ass time ago. Thousands of years. Ancient Greece, beans were used to vote for candidates entering various organizations. Oh. We know that very well. Yeah. One container for each candidate was set out before the group members who would place a white bean in the container if they approved the candidate and a black bean if they did not. Sometimes a clumsy voter would accidentally knock over the jar, revealing all of the beans and allowing everyone to see the otherwise confidential votes. How about that? That is so fascinating. I wonder if that's, I mean, because that seems like also where the term blackball comes from. So yes. I, I wonder if the original term was black beaned. I bet you it was black. Black bean sounds right because it was it was a bean. Right, and one one was white, one was black. What's interesting is they had a yes or no for each candidate. They didn't have candidate A and candidate B. Right, you just put one in the. It wasn't jar. Bob and Frank. It was just Bob. But I'm saying it wasn't like most beans win. It was a yes and a no. Yes. Which I, did, I didn't know that. Like, I don't like that guy. Right. But I didn't know that you've, like, in, t in our current democracy state, it's usually A versus B versus C. Yes. And the one with the most beans wins. <laughs> yeah. Right? How does it, I didn't know that their democracy was candidate A, more yeses than noes. Candidate B, more noes than yeses. 
but how does that eliminate how many can sit somewhere? Like how big part like government would get? Yeah, I got you. Like, cause it, we, in our democracy, we compete for one seat, for example, yeah, like no, two I, or more compete for, or, or unopposed some yeah. people, but they compete for a spot. They're playing musical chairs. I get you. Right. How does that system work like musical chairs? It doesn't because you're voting on each individual person. Yes or no. I see your point. Unless you had candidate A or B, A and B, you had a black and a white bean. So each person had one of each. Now I'm wondering if and that's you, the case. Or you, do you and you oh, put one in one? In, yeah, in, yeah. You put the white one in seems, your one you want, the black one in your one you don't. Yeah, that seems more logical. And that would that would cover also. Oh, they have the most white beans. And yes, they have the most, but they also individually have the most black beans. You know, yes. also have the most yes black beans. Correct. Or the least black beans. So in that ways, that would maybe help people from cheating in some way. I don't know. Just a thought. Yeah, I like I that. I don't know. I I don't know. Really? That's interesting. You don't know. No idea. But I love that. Uh, spill the beans. So if they knocked them over, everyone knew where everyone stood at that moment. Yes. Sons of bitches. Don't let shaky people vote. Right? Yeah. What, what kind of democracy is this? Uh, Greece. You're letting shaky people vote? <laughs> <laughs> Not shady. Shaky. No. Shaky's pizza. Shaky. Shakey's There's pizza. a Shakey's Pizza? In California. I used to go there as a kid. I didn't know that. So good, dude. You know what I've seen a lot of? Uh, California Pizza Kitchen? Zaxby's commercials. Yes. And we talked about Zaxby's on Big the Big down one. south. Huge. All, huge. All the SEC games, <laughs> the football games that yeah. are going on right now, Zaxby's yeah. commercials left and right. Correct. And in the middle. Yeah. In the middle. All right. Um, I think you have one more. And I, have I have one more. You have two more. I have two, sir. What? Yeah, because you have one left. I have How two you- left. Yeah, but you went first. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know how to add shit. Are you, you sure? Yeah. Uh, yes. I believe you. Do you want to do them both at the same time? No. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go the whole nine yards. You needed that one. To try one's best. World War II fighter pilots received a nine-yard chain of ammunition. Therefore, when a pilot used all of his ammunition on one target, he gave it... The whole nine yards. I assumed it was a football reference. That is so cool. I like to say the whole enchilada. I also like enchiladas. <laughs> and burritos. <laughs> enchilada. But you apparently like a bean burrito last night. Oh, yeah. Where were you? Spill the beans. Uh, that is uh, that is an awesome. I love those. The yeah. ones that come out of like war. Yeah. I, know it's, I love the so, I love the war ones. I love the war ones, man. You know those ones with carnage <laughs> and explosions and shit like that. I love it. Murder, death, kill. Uh, yeah, the whole nine yards on one turn. It's just how that like the catch twenty two one came out of yeah. war two, right? Yes. Out of the military or something. Um, it's just neat. It's just a neat one. Yeah, catch twenty two didn't come up, or it has before though, right? Well, wasn't the last one? No, I haven't mentioned it. No, I mean like the last part, like a month ago. The on the Shakespearean one, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it was. It was Catch Twenty Two. Yeah, yeah it probably I, was. I remember. Oh, so it wasn't military. It was it was Willie again. It was William. William's amazing. I know. Your last one, dude. Go. All right, man. So if you're not sleeping tight, yes, then you're probably not sleeping well, and you're probably going to be waking up. On the wrong side of the bed and be a grumpy bitch for the rest Before of the day. Before you go, go. Because I'm not planning on tightening my mattress. <laughs> Waking up on the wrong side of the bed. Waking up in a bad mood. That's that's all it means. It's yeah. crazy. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I like to say I woke up under the bed. Extra, extra anger. I don't like waking up under the bed. It's the worst. The left side of the body or anything have to do with the left was often associated with something sinister. <gasps> to ward off evil, innkeepers made sure the left side of the bed was pushed against a wall so guests had no other option but to get up on the right side of the bed. Oh. I literally Uh-oh. wake up on the wrong side of the bed every morning. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, I had to like think about like, uh, me too. Yeah, bro. How amazing. That's amazing to me. 
No wonder. You and I are like the grumpiest little prick sometimes, and I think um, we know why. We, sure. We, we actually <laughs> wake up Stop on it. the wrong side of the bed. I was trying not to say Should the I other word. Move over tonight to the right side. Well, you can. I, Magsy's on the right. Can you kick her? Can you? She won't know. She's a right sider. She's right. That's her sign. Damn it! That's why she's always so fucking nice. I. That's why she always wakes up on the right side of the see, bed. Now it all makes sense, dude. Do you see now? They've been lying to us the whole time. They have. I don't know who they is, but they have. I also don't know. Tutamian <laughs> don't know, but they have. All the tambourines, bro. Man, there are so many tambourines flying around here. <laughs> you want my last one? Yeah, but I we need we need to go to Colorado. Yeah. And then we need to go to Amsterdam. Yeah. For you. Okay. Not for me, of course. Why? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You okay. Know. That's happening, sir. Okay. Um, all right. I'm ready. I'm okay. ready when you are. Finally. Jay Walker. What? One who crosses the street in a reckless or illegal manner. Jaybirds that traveled outside of the forest into urban areas often became confused and unaware of the potential dangers in the city like traffic. Amused by the erratic behavior, people began using the term jaywalker to describe someone who crossed the street irresponsibly what if you responsibly cross the street but not at the designated paint painted area then you're just a walker because i was told that anything outside of that crosswalk is jaywalk it like is in the middle technically yes the legal term is just anywhere not on a designated cross i believe you are correct i'm That's sorry to finish on a down note like jaywalker actually I've, we've got one i know you have a final we do i know you have final jeopardy alex Ding, 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 ding. Do you have anything else on dumb jaywalker? No, I think. It's the final countdown. Do -do 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 I love that Job or Gob played that when he did his magic. The final countdown? Yeah, he always played the final countdown. Did he countdown. play the Metalachi version? No, of course not. Why not? He didn't, he's he, not good. He, he didn't have a trumpet? Good. He was Gob. <laughs> did, it was at the jobing.com arena at the gobbing well yeah he was at the jobing.com but gob was at the, yeah gob was at the job in dog we trust i like it do you trust dogs you trust dogs all of them megs you trust dogs. all yeah. of them mm. even the wolf dogs not even but golden doodles fuck golden doodles they seem friendly because nope. they're goldeny nope they're do are they doodly yeah fuck uh, Cause, yeah because poodles are dicks because they were crossbred and they shouldn't have been Poodles are dicks. I concur, in sir. In very, general, very, very much so. Poodles are dicks, and they happen to be from France. The wee wee. Poo poo. Ah. Uh -huh. Wah wah. Uh -huh. French fry. Voulez vous français? Voulez vous? Good thing I'm half French. <laughs> good, good thing. It uh, looks like I picked the wrong. Oh, looks like I picked the wrong time to stop sniffing glue. Was um, and amphetamines and all that was a Jeopardy question answer. Shut up! Because it was movie exclamation point. So every movie it had was to be like an movie with that. It was airplane. airplane. And I made me chuck. I go. Did you get? I love how that. many in that category did you get? There were a couple that I did not know. Really? Yeah. Honestly, they were odd. How many movies have exclamation points? Not at the that end? many. Yeah, but I, mean, I got two. I think I got three of the five. Maybe, maybe if if that. I have to go to the back to the. Tape. I don't even know if I can name the pirate him. from like the 1500s. Still has his GoPro. Maybe he can get me in 4K. <laughs> I'm trying know. to think of a movie that ends in an exclamation point, and I don't even know one. Do you want me to give away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Oh God! I, oh God! You devil! Or okay? Oh God! Was exclamation? I didn't. Like, oh okay. God! I never would have. Airplane burns. was exclamation. I knew point. that. Yeah, but I never would have. And there were a couple before. more that were weird that I didn't ever hear before. I I can't think of any okay. Mars attacks. Sure. Is I, it don't attacks? I don't know. I have to look that one up too. All well, right, let's do it, bro. Uh, so you thought we were ending on a pad note with this one? Yeah. W which one was that again? The Jaywalker. The Jaywalker. That was kind of. I boring. just think of the uh, the Toronto Blue Jays because uh, the Toronto Blue Jay Walker. <laughs> the Roger Clemens Walker. Yes. The misremember Walker. That's correct. I misremembered that I shot up and I have a huge head. Well, sir, this has been an under a sub two hour. We could stretch it, but it's been a sub two. What hour are we going to talk about for nineteen minutes? I think I'm sure something will come up, but we probably we're not even shooting for a time. We just talk, and whatever time happens at the end is definitely excessive, but it's there. 
<laughs> so they're always excessive? Right. So we're just saying this is one of the shorter ones. I'm not trying to stretch it by saying it, but I am acknowledging that we're getting more succinct. Bullshit. The last one was 220, you bitch. It was like 240. It was? I, mean, it was, I don't remember. Fucker. So this is the last one. This is the one we're going to end on a bad note. Kick the bucket. Yeah. We're going to kick the bucket on this podcast, yo. I tell you what. Let's kick the bucket. To die. Shut up. It just says to die? It just means to die. Kick the, kick the bucket. You kick the bucket. That's it just means to die. So when a cow was killed at a slaughterhouse, a bucket was placed under it while it was positioned on a pulley. Sometimes the animal's legs would kick during the adjustment of the rope and would literally... Shut I up. I didn't Is it say, say literally. It, it really reads literally. <laughs> would literally... Kick the bucket before being killed. So where was the bucket placed? It's like under the whole hoist them. I don't know why. So they were on sense. the bucket. Yeah, I don't know. Is it to for the milk or I don't know for the intro, the blood to catch stuff. I don't know how this works, but why was this safe for the end? I thought you and I would kick the bucket on this podcast, on this episode, <laughs> not on the podcast, not on either podcast. On this podcast, on this episode. This is in. Not conscious and beer googles are going on. Sorry, yes, everybody. we're just ending Sorry. this episode. We're ending this episode. We're kicking the bucket. We're kicking the bucket on this episode, yeah. not the podcast. No. Because we have so many more. We have so many, so much more phenomenal content. Yes, to stay tuned, bitches. Stay tuned. So what do we have? Uh, these are some fun phrases. We'll probably do this in a month or a month and a half yes. or so. Maybe we've got a couple more. Remember, I sent you like 150 of them. Yeah, I didn't read any of those. We're going to need, no, we're going to need to copy and paste a spreadsheet and we're going to have to do a little VLOOKUP. I'm not doing a spreadsheet. I know, but we have to because I think we, I don't want to double. No, we will never do that. I don't want to double I can't, shoot. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I, with 100 I, I seriously no, have I'll a problem with that. I do too. I'm, I'm, I come from a DJ perspective. You never play the same song twice in the same night, bro. Oh, I would concur. Never. Yes. This I whole would. repurposing of content. Come with new shit. I, fine. Repurpose. Make a best of. Okay, great. Fine. But no. Make new content, my friends. I agree. And you know what? Do you, I, do you want to vote for your favorite? Would you say that the the punch one is your number, fa- one, number one favorite? That's a great question. I think was, that one's sadistic, especially with, with kids and how the influence it would have over children. But you said the other. You said there was another one that was also the in the right running. that. I think it was the one you had right after. Uh, that. Was it the um, when you feed the tongue to the to the cats got to the tongue? cats? That one's just, it was before that because it was that one's just bite the bullet. Blood is thicker than water. No, I don't butter know. someone up. Butter someone up's interesting. Uh, cat really got your tongue. Anyway, so yes, do we want to read them off before we close? Sure. It? Or, or is, okay, you go. Just read off your bite uh, the bullet. Raining blood is thicker than water. Break the ice. Also, William Shakespeare. Butter someone up. Cat got your tongue. Fuck cats. Caught red-handed. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Eat humble pie. Give the cold shoulder. Go cold turkey. Go the whole nine yards. Eat the whole enchilada. Oh, no, that was just me. Uh, and Jay Walker. Uh, I think you meant to confess that you already ate. Oh, the and the entire chimichanga. Also también. And I have kick the bucket. Let your hair down. More than you can shake a stick at. No spring chicken. Please is punch, rub the wrong way, rule of thumb, run amok, douchebaggery, <laughs> Zach, second time, say by the bell, show your true colors, sleep tight, spill the beans, and waking up on the wrong side of the bed. I really, I, I honestly, man, I do love the spill the beans with the Greeks. I thought that was cool too. I, I mean, I never heard that. I mean, I've heard that expression a million times, but I didn't know it came from ancient Greece. I didn't know that either. That's really cool. And I really liked yours, the one that you had, because the one you use all the time, no spring chicken. I thought yeah. that was, that was interesting. Because I, mean, I know a bunch of people that are younger than me. Right. You know, and they're right. always like, oh, my back hurts. Shut the fuck up. And I really thought. You're 30 that, something. <laughs> and my guess on that one was spring was just earlier in the year. So it was kind of like that, but it just turns out that they also sold them. If they sold them in the winter, then it would be your no winter chicken. Like, let's be honest, right? Like, yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. So like if it was in the summer or fall, it would have been whatever. Yes. Whatever season. whatever season sold the most chickens. It just turns out be called that event. Right. Yeah, so summer what's chicken. interesting that it was spring chicken is that spring happens to be the first Season of the year, technically. I know you're you're coming out of winter. Yes, but I know yes, winter's spring, rebirth, all that shit. Right, but it's like spring is like spring, summer, fall, winter is how we 
yes. talk about the season. So I thought spring was just early. So I thought that's what spring chicken, man, is just young because it's early. And that seems logical, and I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I, I like logic. I wish that was logic. I hope you that have logic. more logic than I can shake a hockey stick at. Whoa, you're, this rage stick, or what, what's it called? Uh, this is the stick of fury. <laughs> it's a little tiny Philadelphia take Flyers hockey stick. It. Can you take a picture like and tweet it? It's two feet long. This? I will tweet this, sure. Well, you have to tweet it when the episode comes out. But yes. take a picture. So I'm going to take a me. picture. Don't uh, reply stop to end uh, any conversations you and I have. I'm going to reply stop to end this podcast. <laughs> Check mark. Do not reply stop. I I thought to looking for this. <laughs> for what? So this has been 25 the Googles of beer. Weird. Yeah, well, of course. Truly shocking. Can you tell people, can you ask people to do us some favors? Can I would love to out? ask people to do us some favors. What could you ask them to do? Could you do? please subscribe yeah, and rate us and leave comments? I like that too. Yeah. And uh, there's another one. Review. Reviews. Yeah, reviews. Also uh, Tambien. Follows. All that shit. Is. Tell we're your on, friends. We're on the tweets at KnockedCon. Retweet, share on the Facebook. At KnockedCon. And Mr. M- Mr. Owl. Woodsy the Owl. Mr. Owl, what is what are you on? I'm on the Twitter. I believe Woodsy it's the at Woodsy owl. the Owl. Is that and, uh, and it's Woodsy W-E-Y. W- Thank you. Let's clear that up. Do we we had a we had a conversation with these guys from Subfacts. They yeah, were fun. From Philly, yeah. Uh, our connection sucked balls. Yeah, your phone is bad, dude. I don't think it was a phone. I think it was a phone. It probably was a phone. But I got a Samsung, bro. Uh, it, it may not have been your phone. It may have been the cellular network. I've got AT and T, bro. So do I. So we would have both. AT and T, bro. No, I didn't. I per, I'm not calling any. Look, no, it's not a it thing. was a good conversation. It's an accountability thing for just in general, and I'm never going to have a phone conversation. I would concur again. completely, sir. I'm using some stuff that we've used before. I'm just never yeah, using that. And again. we figured out a good software. Was- you figured out, sir. We. No, we. No, you. I'm applauding with the hockey stick. Thank you. But that- it was, it's not about that. I'm just saying we had a really good conversation that fell to the wayside, in my opinion. It was it inaudible. Was almost unlistenable. And I. I can't imagine anyone who listened to it, unfortunately. But it has like 30-some downloads, which is, seems to be okay along the path with, with their guys. Were um, there any comments? And, and I will say this. Had a great time. Yeah, they're like, awesome. I really like those guys. I really wish that it could have been heard, and I would love to have more conversations with them. Because obviously, me and Matt, we both love metal, and me and Mooney both like to drink. So, like, those guys are my soul brothers, you know? They were really – it was a lot of fun. And with Brian – Got us connected in the yeah, first place. Brian right, right, right. The, is the, the, the super engineer. senior producer. He's the producer engineer son guy. Uh, Extraordinary. The, yeah, he's there. He's their god. So let's see. You're looking up how many downloads from We're this at week? 34 downloads. Their previous episode was 31, 45, 43. And we're the youngest. So with 34. So I'll take that. Sure. But that. No comments? That I don't see anything okay. on here. Yeah. But it. I just. Un- the sound was unfortunately. Piss poor is the best way to say it. Uh, so I was, I, I, I was yeah. just disappointed. But we would like to have them on. If we do, we're going to get them on a, on different platforms because I I want to I want to share what we talked about. It was fun. It was a it was a very fun time. So if you get a chance, sub facts podcast. Yes, S U B F A C T S. Um. So do that. And yeah, those guys are funny. I dig them. They're pretend- yeah, they're fun guys. They're yep. great. Great time. This has once again been twenty five. Truly shocking. 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 Origins of common phrases. Which is a completely inaccurate description because yeah, none shocked. of them, there was like punch, four. The punch one. There was like four that were kind of shocking. Please, this punch was a little shocking. Not, and, the, and the cat in the tongue. I didn't like that one. Kind of shocking. I, not I like truly it. shocking. Not truly shocking. None of them. They were, they were literally figuratively shocking, <laughs> but not actually shocking. Yes. I had to think about that. <laughs> I had to go all I was like, the what? That. Man, we're I, 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 I got it. I got it. Oh, I gall. Oh, I gall. It's available as a license plate in Arizona. It is? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been fun. Uh, Google is this today's us. Once again, subscribing. Rate. Rating, reviewing. Comments. And and, and once again, we are. Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. That's awesome. (laughs) We're stupid. Thanks for another, thanks for a whole morning, afternoon, and evening (laughs) for one podcast. Yes, sir. That's what we do. All right. Love y'all. Be excellent to each other.